back in 2020, Jack Pacific released a couple pieces of Sonic movie merchandise, and well, they, 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 they weren't the best. Oh my god, surely this was tested. The big reason why these toys weren't the best is because of Sonic's big redesign, and since they didn't have enough time to completely redo this toy line, they just released the best things they got. And now here we are, the second Sonic movie is here, and of course we got some Sonic movie merchandise. We got some plushes, an RC toy, some 2 inch figures, and some four inch figures. After almost a month of me trying to find them, I have successfully found Sonic and Knuckles. I that should be the other way around. Knuckles and Sonic. These two figures are part of the 4-inch wave, which does also include Tails and Eggman, which I haven't found yet. But these are the two I wanted the most out of this entire wave. For the packaging, they're both exactly the same, except for one scene Sonic, one scene the Knuckles. On the top, we got the Sonic Hedgehog 2 logo. We got some blue background. Sonic rendered in the bottom. Sonic for Sonic. Knuckles for Knuckles. Articulated in multiple languages, as well as you can see the figure and the accessories. And for the back they show off the other figures in the way the points of articulation an image of the figures and a brief description of both characters for sonic it says sonic is your typical lightning fast teenage hedgehog hero stopping crime saving the world and looking cool while he does it, it says in most languages and for knuckles it says knuckles is one tough echidna with no time for small talk he's on a mission to find the greatest power in the universe and action speaks louder than words says in multiple languages whole bunch of legal stuff at the bottom so without further ado let's take a look at these figures so let's actually take a look at knuckles first you're unskilled untrained unworthy and here is Knuckles out of the packaging and four accessories. He does come with this snowboard. There's really nothing interesting going on here. There's these two peg holes up here. As you can see, if it'll focus, there are some peg holes there. And you can just connect Knuckles to the snowboard. If I can get it in. Really nothing interesting going on here. But take a look at the actual figure. The sculpt is fantastic. So accurate to what he looks like in the film and actually in the video games. You can use this as the video game version of Knuckles. Looks kind of weird from back here. And for paint, there's really not that much here. The face does look pretty good, but unfortunately the mouth is kind of crooked the eyes look great and the shoes also look pretty good but obviously there's some paint errors here and there but there's not enough to where it's a big deal except for that yellow right there that yellow is kind of annoying for articulation the head cannot move at all and you can kind of move it side to side the arms can move all the way around and can go out about that far far can swivel side to side the elbow can bend about that far in the hands are on ball joints moving these out the arms are really stiff and for the legs the legs can move forward about that far and back about that far and can go out about that far why is not focusing there's a bend at the knee that can also swivel side to side and the feet are on ball joints so overall this is by far why is that peg is actually coming off what the all right, but overall, this is a very nice figure. You forgot one. Unstoppable. The next figure we are taking a look at is Sonic the Hedgehog. And for except, oh, he just fell. But for accessories, he does come with the same exact snowboard that Knuckles has. I do wish there was a slight difference between the two, but it's not really that big of a deal. Now, taking a look at the actual figure, this is a figure I've been wanting since the first Sonic movie came out because this design for Sonic is so good. It's really hard to screw up Sonic's design, and yet they still did. <laughs> The sculpt looks so good. It looks just like the design in the movies. The paint is also really good. One of the big issues Jack Specific has is making the shoes look good. And unfortunately, there is some red paint on the bottom, but it's really not that noticeable since he's standing up. There's one thing I'm kind of questioning is this right here. I don't know why they did that. It's not an error in my figure because the official promotional images show that. So why did they do this? But it's not really that big of a deal. You don't really notice it. His eyes look good. His mouth looks good. His nose looks good. Just this entire figure looks good. And for articulation, the articulation is good, but it does have some issues. The head can swivel all the way around. The arms can move all the way around and can go out about that far. Elbow can bend. Now, I am kind of worried this might pop 
off. So be careful with that, but it can bend 90 degrees and spin all the way around. And the hands are on ball joints. And for the legs, this is the part that I want to warn you about. I have had the leg just pop off when I tried to move it. So please be careful, but he can kick forward about that far and back about that far and of course can go out about that far and there's a bend at the knee that can also swivel side to side and the shoes are on ball joints and now let's do some size comparisons So overall, these are some pretty good figures, and I do recommend you get them if you can find them. They are kind of hard to find right now, but if you do find them, I do recommend you get them. Uh, meow?